Hi, I'm Eddie Brochen. I'm in New Harmony, Indiana today at the Indiana's U.S. Catfish District Championship. Some of the best in the United States are competing here today, and I'll be right there along with them. So pull up a chair. You don't want to miss this action-packed catfishing adventure. <laughs> I forgot to ask Kenny for some skipjack. So now it looks like we're, we're only going to have frozen shad for bait. So I hope these catfish here on the Wabash aren't too picky. Oh boy. I've always got to have at least one line out for big fish. I just took the fillets right off the side there to kind of expose the guts. With that north uh, northeast wind today, a little bit chilly, that might help bring on the bite. Wish me luck. So far, no strikes. Don Hornback gave me this uh, lucky quarter. He said, "Sticking your pie, this is your lucky quarter. You're going to catch the biggest fish of the day." Right now, I'm not believing him too much, so. I think we're going to have to make an offering to the old Wabash River. Hopefully that'll bring us some good luck. Uh, Don, who's uh, who's fishing below you guys down there? Yeah, we're trying to figure it out. All right, well, I want you to keep an eye on them, too, with the uh, digital zoom there. If they start to catch it over there, see if you can figure out what they're using for bait and what, uh, what kind of rigs they're using and stuff, and uh, holler back at me. Put the binoculars on them. That's right. As always a way, this is competitive. We'll do whatever we can to bring in them fish. Never been on this water before, so I'm gonna utilize the radios today to find out what's going on out there. So far, not a strike. We may have to pack up here and move pretty soon. Well, folks, uh, we were planning to move, but uh, we lost the battery. <laughs> so uh, good old boys here at Team Okuma are gonna help us out there. I appreciate that, guys. That'll get us back in business. Okay, thanks. Well, that's the way it, the, the guys in this club are. I mean, if the boat's in pair or in trouble or whatever, then we're, we're going to go over and we're going to help them out, you know. Uh, yeah, we compete against each other, but we're all out here for the same reason. We're all good friends, you know. Uh, we're not going to leave somebody stranded on the river or make them have a bad day when we can help them out a little bit. Still out here on the Wabash fishing the U.S. Catfish Championship, and so far the only thing I'm catching is some rays. Awfully hot today. Let's go take a look uh, at uh, Chris Tram's boat and see if they're catching it. Here we go. It's called uh, Octopus Circle Hook. It's by Gamagatsu. It's got an offset on it so it doesn't come straight back to the shank. And then the tip's pointed inwards. And uh, that way when the hook gets in the corner of the mouth, it automatically hooks it and brings it right around and sets itself. At least that's the idea. Last time, I hate one of 
<laughs> One more month, then. <laughs> well, we've been out here all day. So far, not even one strike. This is a bad day for Team Lund on the Wallbash. Maybe things will turn around for us. Let's go see what Tim's up to from Team Okuma. I guess we'll put him in the bait well. Well, we didn't have a real good day, but uh, we did put a fish in the boat, and that, that'll give us points. There's going to be a lot of teams that didn't have any fish at all, and they're only going to get 10 points for this tournament. So uh, we're allowed to throw two tournaments out a year, and uh, hopefully the one fish that we did catch is going to be enough to give us some points to where we don't have to throw this one out, because we've had one this year that we've had to throw out. So uh, hopefully we should be all right. Well, it's been a little bit slow here on the Wallbash for me today. So let's take a look at uh, some flathead action that was filmed just a couple nights ago on the White River. Well, folks, I'm out here sitting on the White River with my good friend John Kramer. It's uh, the end of May, about the third week of May. I think it's the 20th today, something like that. We were able to get down here just in enough time before dark to set up for big, giant flatheads. And what we're going to use today for bait are yellow bass. We're going to hook them right through the nose with what we call the bull ring technique. Oh, I busted. Hold on. We're going to hook him right through the nostrils and back out the other side. What we're going to do, we, we do not want to catch a 20 or 30 pound fish tonight. We're looking for 40 or 50, so we're not going to put anything on that a 20 pounder can, will want to take tonight. So we're looking for the big fish. Uh, hopefully, uh, John will hook up on that big flathead. So let's go ahead and get these guys set and see if we can't catch some fish. Here in the back. White fast, man. We got a double. We got a double here. Keep it, keep it tight. Just keep it tight. You guys got some fish on? Huh? Oh, you, he's wound up with you? Keep him on the left, John. Keep him on the left. Okay. Woo. Hey, babe, just Look put yours back in the holder. Don't let him near the boat, John. Don't let him near the boat. Is it a big fish? Oh, yeah. Okay, babe, come back here, please. Back over here. Take the camp. Okay, hey, John, you're gonna have to bring him to the left. Bring him to the left. Don't let him touch the boat. Bring him over here towards me. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Slow, 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 slow. Freak! Wow. Yeah, baby! Woo! <laughs> Alright, John's got his first one. It's a beast, guys. It is a beast. I told you, folks. Big baits, big fish. We caught him on that little yellow bass. John, is that not the biggest flathead he ever That's caught? my biggest flathead. There ain't no <laughs> doubt about it. Oh, man. He'd already swallowed it down to his gut. Unbelievable. Hold on, folks. John, pull that line for me right there. Let me... Uh... Alright, now I can show them to you folks. Here he is. Oh, true trophy. Look at that. Look John. Up there, John. Let me get in there. Uh, you gotta get a good grip right there. Ah, uh, yeah. Got my fingers out. Let me get out of your way. Nice fish, John. Thank you, Nicole. That was fun. Guys, this is, this is amateur what. night. We're home video in it, but boy, we caught the biggest fish you in You know, I tell you what, you bassers can have that bass fishing all you want, because the real thrill is out on the river, folks, with flathead cats. 
Daddy broke you. Thanks, John. I appreciate that. So you put it, Gill him. Hold him up towards the camera. Hold him out towards the camera. All right, let's, uh, let's save you for some daytime pictures, too. Right there, right there, right there, like that. What a fish, huh? Well, let's uh, go visit our good friends from Kentucky back at the U.S. Catfish Championship here in New Harmony, Indiana. Fish in the boat. Good girl. Good job, girl. That a girl. You want to hold that handle? I get the fish in. Four five pounds of it. Need the flyer? No. Just wrap around and bang. Start with a 50 pound leader, come down to a circle hook, got it attached to a swivel so when it spins in the water I don't get the line, line uh, tangle. And then it's a, it'll roll up and down like this. Uh, weight holds it to the bottom but I still got it as a slip rig. Uh, this is 80 pound main line tied onto it. You get your piece of cut bait. Depends on what size fish you're looking for. We're going to try to get a big one here. Hook it to the side. Try to leave as much of your hook as possible exposed so you can get a good hook set on it. Fire it on out there and see what happens. Got it. Well, 
folks. I think it's about time to head into weigh-ins. As for me, I drew a blank today on the wall bash. So I'm gonna head in a little bit early and get set up and see who brought in all the fish to take the payout. My guess it's probably Chris Tram or maybe the good old boys from Kentucky. But uh, let's head in now and see what they got. Check him. I don't think he's gonna make it up. I'll check. Woo! 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 Seventy three point two five. Right. I just met it all day long. First thing we give away is this Richter anchor. As Ed Brocher said earlier today, I've got two of them. I got my boat. Very few places I can't hold that. <laughs> Chris Tram. If there's any of you out there watching today that would like to capture your next hunt or fishing trip on tape for years of enjoyment to come, please be sure to look up Justin Henry of Eagle Wings Productions. Now let's take a final look at the leaderboard statistics. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of the U.S. Cats Pro Tournament Trail. Be sure to tune in next week for another action-packed adventure of Outdoors with Eddie Brochin, where it's as real as it gets. <laughs>